assessments were, number one, things for our life skills program. And we teach what we have a life lessons class that we teach with our guys and being able to get better speakers and, and have more resources to, to bring in folks. We, uh, we do a meal with them so they learn how to eat a nice meal, what all the forks are. Uh, we've had we had Maurice Claret come and speak to our team as part of that series. So we wanted to have some resources for that. Um, as we move forward, we wanted some scheduling resources. That was very, very important in terms of making sure we have the best schedule possible every year that gives us the best opportunity to go to the NCAA tournament. So we're a little bit uh, behind the eight ball on this coming year schedule. We have all we're, we're so far down the road, we couldn't do a whole lot with that. But we have some things. For, for future schedules, it'll be very important for us. If you guys remember, if you, if you need a reference, you can go back to my scheduling uh, talk uh, before uh, before the NCAA tournament. Uh, but um, and and then also just for my staff and 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 for our entire staff up there. I mean, we needed to make sure they were happy and taken care of and and feel good about uh, feel good about what's going on. So that's what we were that's what we were aiming for. And, and Ed was totally on the same page with all of that. And it was, it was actually relatively easy as far as these things go to get to, to get moving and, and, and get done. Uh, I, I tell guys all the time, grass is always green on the other side until you got to mow it. I mean, so when you start, you know, when you start looking at it and picking the weeds out and, and mowing, I mean, there's, you know, this place is, place is phenomenal. And so I'm glad our fans appreciate what we did this year and appreciate our team, but we are – more appreciative of them and their support. They carried us at parts on the season. I mean, it been, would have been easy to stop stop the sellout streak. Um, I think Ryan, our marketing people, Glenn, did a really good job with all that. But I mean, you got a new coach. Nobody kind of knows what's going to happen. The team's not really predicted to be as good as we had been in the past. I mean, it's been easy for a lot of that stuff to fall off, but none of that stuff uh, fell off. That's a credit to our fans. Uh, our crowd in Brooklyn was was phenomenal. I mean, just 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 all those when we went to the Garden for for um, for the 2K Sports. So we're you know we're appreciative of the fans. I mean, that's that's a huge part. I mean, it's sold out every night. 83 straight sellouts. Uh, they travel with us on the road. There's no football. This is what they do. So uh, we we're, we're as appreciative of them, more appreciative of them, hopefully, than they are of of of, of what we've done. But it means the world to us and. Uh, we're, we're certainly, uh, uh, certainly, uh, certainly excited to uh, to keep it uh, keep it going, and hopefully we can give them some really really good moments in the in the coming years. That's 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 what we're after. You know Kids in the eye after a year and say I'm out of here. That was never that was not on the table. Um, no matter what the conjecture was, we you know that was that wasn't on the table. I mean, some of these guys have been their third coach in three years and. And, uh, you know, quite frankly, I mean, we've got a great program. I mean, I, I, I know other people don't understand that outside. I mean, look where we're standing right now. And there's not, I mean, not a lot of other people have this stuff. So uh, when, you, when you get the enhancements to the program that, that make it worthwhile um, in terms of com continuing to compete at a high level, because one thing that happens is, and I know our fans probably don't like this because it, it, some of it goes back on them, but Basket, basketball is changing every year. It's going to get, you know, you've got to keep up more and more and be in front more and more. And I hate to say this, but, you know, we're adding some guarantee games or a guarantee game. In three years, we're going to have to add another one or two. Like, that's just the way it's, that's just the way this thing works and the way it's going. And our university's committed to doing that. Our athletic director's committed to doing that. And when you've got that, I mean, and, and you've got kids that you love, kids you care about, they laid it on the line for you this year. You're not gonna walk in there in front of them and say, you know, we're out. But that was that was that wasn't on the table. 